Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today I'm going to show you a very short but extremely useful trick that I just learned today and it is how to easily switch Power BI login credentials with Chrome, okay? So let's see how to do that. Okay, so I am following Chris Webb on Twitter and he tweeted this morning about a really quick tip uh, and it's how to work with multiple Power BI subscriptions on accounts and it has to do with Chrome. He is saying that he actually learned it from James Callahan and let's go and check him out. I mean, it's just fair that the people that comes up with this just gets a showcase. So here is James and he's doing that for logging into multiple Office 365 accounts. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to do this. It's very, very simple and really, really useful. So what Chris is actually telling us, if you're not following Chris, make sure you do. He has really nice tricks on all kinds of stuff. Power Pivot, DAX, analysis services, you know, anything that has to do with analytics. He is the man. So what he's telling us is, both him and James, is that uh, there is actually a, a feature in Chrome. I don't know if you noticed, but you have here uh, when you are logged in in Chrome, which you will probably be as they are logging in you, even if you don't notice. So when you are logged in in Chrome, you will see here a name, and that is the person that is logged in. And what this is, is just profiles. Google or Chrome has profiles. I just have in here one profile, but it ha you have your own and then you have a guest profile. So what you can do is actually go in here, manage people. And this is what you will see. And here you could you can create a profile for different customers. For example, you write, I don't know, customer one, you give customer one a flower because they are absolutely fantastic. You remove the create shortcut and you save. And as you can see, a new session is opened with customer one. And the brilliant thing about this is that it is their own personalized Chrome that is usually made for a family. So you don't have to have the bookmarks of your father or your sister, you can have your own. So this saves bookmarks and cookies and uh, browsing history. So if you now go in in powerbi.com here, and log in, I'm not going to do that, but if you do it, then it will remember the credentials for that, okay? And if you wanna go back to your own, you just choose your name and then you will have your own Power BI. Uh, you can have as many profiles as you like, I don't know exactly how many, but I'm sure it's enough. And, uh, yeah, if you want to log in as your customer, instead of using your own browser, you could use your customer browser, which is specially made for their credentials. So that will make your life so much easier. So try it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, it is a cool, cool trick. Thank you, Chris, for that. Awesome. Okay, as I said in the beginning, this is a short video, but very, very useful. Uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And um, hopefully everything works well. Now, uh, this is all for today. Uh, if you like the video, let me know by liking it or by sharing it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions on my videos, uh, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below and subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.